What's up, everybody? What's up? Uh, I guess y'all heard about Chicken Filet going on national TV or telling the media that they don't believe in same-sex marriage. To me, I think it's uh, wrong for them to say that if they run a big corporation. But it's like this: when you run, when you own or run a fast food chain line, image is everything because you're selling a product to the to the people. And I don't think going on national TV or to the media saying I don't support gay marriages would be the right thing to do to to do because I because one thing is if I ran a business like churches not churches chicken but chicken filet I would not sit up there and say well I don't support gay marriages because whatever I believe in is my beliefs I'm not going to sit there and go on national TV and bring down a company that I run or own or be because that's wrong. I say to me, your job is to do is to sell whatever product to the customer. Because the people buy what you buy what you're selling. It's not a. They're not gonna sit. Because one thing is, you can't sit there and be so religious with your business. Because one thing is, if you're so religious with your business, then your business can't be successful. Your business won't get off the ground. And uh, because you're not going to see any other fast food chain line jump on the bandwagon and say, well, I hate gay marriages, I don't support it whatsoever. You're not going to hear that from any other chain line. You're not going to hear that from Burger King, Checkers, Dairy Queen, Pizza, Domino, Domino's Pizza, Jack in the Box, KFC, Little Caesar, Papa John, Popeye's Chicken, Riley's Subway, Taco Bell, White Castle, Hardee's, Crystal's, Pizza Hut, Sonic, Wendy's, McDonald's, Church Chicken, and Blimpy's not going to hear that because they're not going they don't want to mess up their money because they think about their customers before they think about their religion like I, 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 I'm cool with Chick-fil-A saying well you're getting uh, employees Sundays off to go to church but when it comes down to your business it's all about keeping your customers happy it doesn't mean it doesn't mean to dark your customers say, oh we don't support gay marriages because gay people are, should burn the hell if I a lot of care I know they ain't say that but that's what it kind of sounds like we don't support them I wish they all burn in hell because one thing is if you're going to have a successful business you got to sell your product to everybody to every every person who is uh, gay, straight, black, white Puerto Rican, Chinese, transgender cross dress or whatever but you shouldn't sit up there and go on national TV Representing a company on your beliefs, and that's all it is. Don't don't sit there and try to represent a company if you hate, if you don't support a certain a certain race, a certain <coughs> uh, a certain set of people, because you're not going to get nowhere. It's like Placing segregation back in place, you know. It's like setting segregation back in place. Well, we're not going to serve gay people because we think gays are icky and they got the cooties. And that's how it is. And that's how it is. It shouldn't be. Because I think it's unnecessary for any fast food chain line to go on national TV representing their own company saying well we don't believe in gay marriages see that's going to mess your business up by saying that that means your business is going to fall because you said you don't believe in gay marriages you keep that to yourself you keep that between you and whoever in the privacy of your own office or your own home you don't go and represent your company say oh I hate don't do that that's just stupid to do like I remember because one thing is if you want your business to be successful you gotta make the people happy you can't make yourself happy and the people happy the only way to make yourself happy is to make the people happy because you're selling your product to them they're buying your product that's how you get happy killing two birds with one stone but when you sit there and I hate these certain, certain kind of people your sales will drop better than a brick. That's how it is, man. So which is more important, your re 
religion or the or your customer if it's if you try to be successful. I think your customers are more important than your business because that's where your money comes from. That's where it's how you earn your money. It's by your customers. You shouldn't to me you can't represent something if you like it's like it's you it's like it's you you can run a business a gay I say like it's you're on a gay club but you sit there and say I hate gay people why would you own a gay club if you hate gay people it's like taking a diabetic to a candy shop and taking a paranoid schizophrenic on a hunting trip it's like that you cannot sit there and do that and think nothing's gonna happen because your business is what makes you money I'm sitting up here looking at this and I say Chick-fil-A the representative is so stupid to sit there and say that on national TV and to the media I don't support gay marriages well brother I tell you this gay people buy your product now since you say that your sales are going to drop because you said it what's next you're going to say I don't approve of black folks eating my, my product or Latinos or other minorities is you going to say that because once you do that man you might as well close up shop because you're killing your business it's not like your business is all about making the customer happy. It's not about making your religion happy. It's making your customers happy. Whatever you do after hours is your business. It's not my business or the next person in line's business. It is your, it's, this is where you got to separate your beliefs from your job. Like they say, leave your problems at home, but come to work to prepare to work. That's how you do it, man. Because it, it kills me to see that a business is going to screw themselves over because they put their beliefs before their business. <coughs> you can sit there and close up shop on sun, Saturday and Sunday to go to church. Or close in on close early on Wednesdays to go to men, uh what was it uh mass Bible study on Wednesdays, but you do not sit up there. I don't believe in gay marriages, dude. You just shooting yourself in the foot, and wanting to fail so badly. You're not gonna get any other fast food joint to jump jump on the bandwagon. Hey, I'm gonna join them, and lose all my money, lose all my money, and be stupid enough to lose bit. No. Every fast food business is not going to jump on Chicken Filet's bandwagon and say we we'll support you on 100% because you know why? They're putting the customers before their religion. They know when to leave their religions at home or at the church or at the synagogue or at the mosque or whatever religion they believe in at, that, at, the, at the church, whatever church they go to instead of bringing it to work. It shouldn't matter if if they're gay, straight, or whatever, man. We are all created equal in the eyes of the Lord. Doesn't mean matter which God you believe in. We are all created equal of the eyes of the Lord. We are created in God's image. It shouldn't matter if they're gay or straight. When you sell your product, you're selling it to the people out there. You don't know who's gay or straight. You don't know. But when you sit up there and say this and say we don't support gay marriages, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You got Sarah Palin backing up Chicken Filet, and she's the dumbest person on earth besides Bush Jr. And but that's how it is. That's how it is, man. So which is it, your religion or your business? Which one you gonna pick? If it's your religion. Sell the business now while you while you can. If it's your business, quit the little whole I don't support homosexual marriages. Quit that. Because if you want your business to sell good products and get all that good sales up, then quit bringing religion to work. Quit mixing your religions to your job. That's how it is. Because if you mix religion with your work, it's going to be hell. Like I said, man, don't suspect any other fast food, fast food chain line jumping on board saying, yeah, we support chicken filet and we ready to lose all the money we have. You ain't going to see that.
and that's how it is in my book. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe with Ten Like a T.I. is, and it's true. Ten Like a T.I. is. If you like what I got to say, man, tell me what you think in a comment or, or video response. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe DeWookie. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3, because this is something that no fast food chain line should be doing bringing religion to work. Keep that separate. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.